It's Nicole DeMarco from Next to Your Bank, and today I want to talk about romance scams. It's not true love if they ask for money. Romance scammers can be found on any dating app or social media site, and they work very hard to win your attention and trust. They will use a fake profile, often stealing the identity of the person they are pretending to be. So what are some red flags that could indicate that your new online romantic interest is a scammer? Perhaps they currently live overseas, maybe working on an oil rig or for the military. They will profess their love very quickly and yet repeatedly cancel plans to come see you. Now, once they've gained your trust, they will claim to need money for some emergency, maybe surgery, maybe to travel to see you, or perhaps to pay off a debt. They'll ask for those funds to be wired to them or for you to give them gift cards. Now, once they get the money, they'll typically disappear or worse, they're going to keep coming back for more money. So how do you avoid a romance scam? First off, never send money to someone you have never met in person. Ask a lot of questions and look for inconsistent answers. And finally, talk to someone you trust about your new love interest. See what they think. Now in 2019, over $201 million were reported lost to romance scams. Yet most romance scams are actually not reported. So just know that if this has happened to you, you are not alone, there's no reason to be embarrassed. So if you suspect the person you're speaking to could be a romance scammer, cease all contact with them immediately. And please report the scam to the Federal Trade Commission and the FBI. Also, notify the dating site where you met that person. It might prevent others from becoming victims.